the second second Ezra chapter 9 verse 20 second Ezra 9 and 26 so I considered the world and behold there was peril because of devices because of the devices that were come into it all right first and foremost I want to give all praises glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakhakwadash the bonus to the elder apostles of Great Millstone I say tation much love to Yahweh out there pushing out his word and truth and sincerity <clears throat> and there's a uh, Heard the, the the first uh, scripture, you know, Second Ezra nine and twenty says. So I consider the world, and behold, there was peril because of devi of the devices that were come into it. All right, so you you look around, you and you you ask yourself, why is all these things happening? Well, it's because of the devices, all right, of Esau Edom, <clears throat> all right, his his agenda, his plots. Okay, he, the things that he's trying to bring out, all right, and push out, you know, such as the five G network. All right, ultimately leading up to the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. All right, his new world order. All right, that's why you have these perils. And ultimately, it's because you, it, this is the will of the Heavenly Father, okay, Yahweh. But, you know, Esau is the one, um, you know, make d making these devices, all right, you know, or executing them, so to say. All right, but <clears throat> we under we understand that Esau's time is coming to, a, to a, an abrupt Holt, all right he's not gonna actually get to fulfill his desires all right he's not gonna get to set up his new world order 100 percent all right because in the right at the cusp of him of him actually doing it the lord's gonna return all right and cast him down this is job chapter 20 verse 5 that the triumphing or so i'll start at four knowest thou not this of old since man was placed upon earth that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite before a moment. So the triumphing of the wicked, which is Esau Edom, according to Malachi chapter one. All right. Esau is the wicked. And according to the Bible, it says the triumphing of the wicked is short. And guess what? The, the end of, of his uh, triumphing is coming to, is, is not at hand. All right. It's already started. He's, he's on his way down. He's circling the drain. All right. So. And if you if you really think about it, what five hundred years is nothing, all right, compared to the kingdom of heaven, which will be forever, all right, ever an everlasting kingdom. So all these years, even going back to the Greeks, the time of the Greeks, when Esau was in rulership, all right, then the, during the time of the, the the ancient Roman Empire, okay, the pagan Roman Empire, he wasn't even, you know, let's say he's been ruling for about a thousand years, close to a thousand years, with with this, you know, with the beast being reincarnated. You know, something around thousand years. We'll use that as just a rough number. That is nothing compared to the everlasting kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Right? That's why the scripture said that the triumphing of the wicked is short. The joy of the hypocrite before a moment, because Esau Edom's the biggest hypocrite on the planet, bar none. All right, and guess what? His his uh his um his joy is coming to an end. All right. Verse six. This is Job twenty and six. <clears throat> Though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. All right. So even though he he's, he's uh, the 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 achievements of this kingdom has been greater than any other kingdom. All right. He's been able to go to the heavens. He got space stations, international space stations. All right. He got the space force up there. All right. And and uh, you know. You know, in, in a perspective sense, you know, he's his kingdom has reached into the heavens. This is this is a, a great so-called kingdom. All right. It says, but he shall perish like his own dung. Right. So he going to there ain't gonna, like Malachi 4 and 1 says there's a day that shall burn like an oven. All right. Because ultimately America, all right, coast to coast, see the shining sea is going to be destroyed. All right. And there's not going to be one remembrance of this place except for the smoke. All right. In the, in the desert that's going to be left behind but as far as the philosophies the, the way of living all right all all the devices of this place it's going to be left behind it's going to it's going to perish like like his own dung all right and then ultimately when a thousand years of hardcore slavery is up esau edom is going to be eradicated off the face of the earth it says um yeah he shall perish forever like his own dung they which have seen him shall say where is he all right he shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found yeah, he shall be chased away as a vi like a vision of the night. All right, so this man's gonna be all right. 
destroy it off the face of the earth because the Lord said that he created all things, even the wicked for the day of evil. So when the Lord uses this man one last time, because the scriptures say that the, the wicked is his sword. All right, once the once the Most High get, is done with Esau and he, he does what he has to do in the kingdom by building it up for us. All right, and serving those thousand hardcore years of slavery, then his, he's no he's no longer needed. All right, Esau eat him. The nation of people is no longer needed. Okay, so he's gonna be chased away as a vision in the night. All right, and they're gonna they, people. It's gonna be it's gonna be a far fetched idea, you know, after this man is taken away. All right, because there's there's not gonna be a a, a a person walking around that's wasted away. <clears throat> And pigmentation, you know, has had had melanin, had no melanin. All right, get sun cancer. That's not gonna, that's gonna be a thing of the past, man. Verse nine, it says, "The eye also which saw him shall see him no more; neither shall his place any more behold him." All right, let's go. Cool. This man's gonna be done away with, man, and that and it's gonna start. It's it's really starting now, but it's ultimately gonna be when your your Shai returns, man, and takes his this man out of power. All right, and again, it's gonna be right before he 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 gets to establish his 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 new world order. All right, this is uh Job chapter five verse twelve <clears throat> says he he disappointed the devices of the crafty. Who's the crafty man? Esau eat him. That's that's what the Lord's about to disappoint man. Cause here it is, he's he's going hard, he's going all out, cause he know he got a short time. But he this man actually thinks that he can, he he can possibly upset prophecy. Or hide from the Lord when he returns. That's why they got these deep, deep military bases. You know, deep underground military bases. All right, they got the, the underwater bases. They got the space stations. All right, they got all manner of bunkers. But guess what? You're not gonna be able to hide from the Lord. All right. They say so, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. So, even though you're gonna be going hard and you're gonna get real close to establishing your new world order. Are right, you gonna set up? He he's already set up the five G. Okay, now he's all he has left to do is get get the people into submission into the chip. All right, and, and he's doing that systematically. Okay, as we speak. All right, once he's once he starts to microchip everybody. All right, the whole world. Then he's gonna further push his his the rest of his uh, uh commandments, so to say, of of the Georgia Guidestones, which would be to depopulate people. Okay, set up a one central government. Okay, set up one monetary, right, which is going to be through that chip. But guess what? In the in in the, in that's right before you feel your, you know, this is verse thirteen says he taketh the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. All right, so right before you get to actually uh, finish that, all right, your devices is going to be brought to naught. Okay. Let's see here. Um, that was it on that. All right, let me go to Psalms. Cause Lord, ultimately, he gonna disappoint man. He gonna disappoint the 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 devices of the crafty man, which is the devices of Esau, Edom, the the wicked. All right, so let's go to, and, this, and remember, this is the reason why you have all these perils on the earth, because one of their sayings is order out of chaos, order out of chaos, all right, in the, in the Latin, I believe. <clears throat> so let's go to Psalms chapter 140. All right, bear with me, 30. All right, 140 verse 8, it says, Grant not, O Yahweh, the desires of the wicked. Further not his wicked devices, Salah, his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves, Salah. So the Lord, you know, a prayer to the Lord from uh, uh, David, King David. All right, this was one of his songs. He said that, uh, um, don't, uh, what does it say? Uh, don't, the desire, grant not the desire of the wicked, all right? All right, so the the this is what our prayers are, so that the Lord do not allow them, you know, to this uh, receive grant, you know, receive the desires of their enterprise, man. Which we know ultimately it's written that they're not, but this is something we still pray for, because even King David did. All right, because we don't want them to exalt themselves. They've already exalted themselves like the eagle. 
all right like obadiah says but again that's why we understand that's why we know that this man's devices are not going to come to fulfillment all the 100 percent way because the lord said it but this is but we still pray for it we pray we pray for the downfall of our enemy esau edom all right this is obadiah verse 4 though thou exalt thyself as the eagle and though thou set thy nest among the stars then so i bring thee down saith yahweh all right so ultimately the lord's gonna bring you down man from your your high your little high chair man your pompous all right your, your haughty and proudful looks man all right because they really think they got they about to set this new world order up man the way things are looking the way they bamboo easily bamboozle the people they truly believe that their their desires all right their devices will come to pass but it's not so all right this is psalms 33 and 10 yahweh bringeth the counsel of the heathen to not he maketh the devices of the people of none effect so the the counsel of you wicked all right you the secret counsels you you you, you illuminatis all right uh, you, all these different groups, you, you elites. The, this is for you, all right. Your enterprise will not come to pass, all right. Your new world order will not be fulfilled, all right. Your kingdom is fallen, and the kingdom of Yahweh uh, Yahweh Shai is being established before your very eyes. And there's nothing you can do about it, all right, because the Lord is bringing your devices to uh, to of none effect, all right. So deal with it, because you, you're not gonna be ruling very much longer all right so let's go to first corinthians verse chapter one verse 27 it says but the because you're being brought down because of the word of the lord and who the lord chose to do it his elect his servants prophets they say this is first corinthians 1 verse 27 says but the most high had chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise all right, you guys are supposed to be the wise guys of the, of the earth, right? The, the wise men, the teeming, the Chaldeans. Y'all supposed to be the wisest ones on the earth. But what? The Lord's using the foolish to to confound you. All right, it does not say uh, uh, through the foolishness of preaching. Okay, we, we out there preaching looking foolish, but what? We're the one confounding you. We're the one confounding the world. All right, it says, And the Most High had chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. You guys are supposed to be the mighty men. You got the power in your hand to, to go to different nations and destroy, bring perdition upon the earth, tell people what they can and can't do. And we're just the weak. We're just out there reading Bibles and some garments. All right. So and we're confounding you. Verse 28. And the base things of the world and things which are despised hath the most high chosen. Yea, and things which are not to bring. So like, yea, and the things which are not to bring to not things that are. All right, so the things that are not, you know, which is which is the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai hasn't been established yet. It's not right, but but the kingdom starts within us. We're bringing down what 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 is or what are. All right, which is this current evil, wicked society. All right, we're casting down the strongholds. All right, through the and, and exposing you, you damn devils, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. All right, we're ushering in the return of Yahweh Shai. All right, we're being heralds. We're letting you know that our big brother Yahweh Shai is coming to, to reign havoc upon this earth and to restore the kingdom of, unto Israel. All right, so with that, Mawath Labbaal, Abad Babal, Shalom.